We spend a lot of time talking about how SDVoE is the only choice for large-scale video distribution and advanced processing. But don't forget, it's also the best option for even the smallest point-to-point -point applications. This course will show you how and why SDVoE truly is the perfect fit for any size of project. HD Base T point to point balance are the most popular choice for sending video signals from a source to a display across a category cable. But there are other ways. SDVoE relies on Ethernet, it's not proprietary. There are millions of HD Base T ports shipped each year compared to hundreds of millions of Ethernet ports. So which do you think is going to be cheaper? Both SDVoE and HD Base T offer 4K 444 video with zero latency and light for light video quality and full system control. Both options also offer power over the cable to remove the need for power at the display endpoint. However, this is where the similarities end. Remember, SDVoE uses power over Ethernet. HD Base T doesn't, because it doesn't use Ethernet. HD Base T, the older proprietary technology, is really built for point-to-point -point distribution, and it demands piles of custom, power and space-hungry electronics to create switchable distribution systems. Let's just say you've got a conference room, which needs a source connecting to a display over 100 meters of cable. Now, SDVoE is still a far superior option than HD Base T, even with this simple point to point topology. Let's be really clear SDVoE is based on the IEEE Ethernet stack all the way down to the physical layer, and this standard is adopted across the networking world. HD Base T utilizes a standard which it created and nobody else uses, and this has led to mixed results. See for yourself. So here's the setup that we want to show to test the performance of AV8 versus HD Base T. And by performance, I mean, more importantly, noise immunity. So we have a 4K player, which is pushing a 4K6444 video content onto transmitters, right? The player is connected through an HDMI cable. Uh, AVX versus HD Base T, both will be connected to a 70 meter CAT6A shielded cable. Once the content hit the receivers, it is sent back through HDMI on the TV that we see. And the thing I'm gonna use to generate noise is barbecue lighter. Here's the interesting part, the demo itself. So we start with the AVX box being connected, right? 4K content going to the transmitter, receiver with 70 meter cable, and then to the TV. As I take my barbecue lighter to generate noise, we can't see any, right? The screen is perfect, stable, there's no artifact. Let's do the same experiment using the same HDMI cable, same CAT cable through the HD Base T boxes. Now that the signal is back, as you can see, it's the same 4K6444 content, but this time around, let's try the barbecue lighter. Oops creates artifact, and not only artifacts, but sometimes the receiver does not get back to normal state. Signal integrity is the number one priority. Everyone has had a similar HD base T experience to our cigarette lighter here when it's flaked out on them. HD base T has invented their own standard and cable manufacturers don't build cable to that standard because they bill to Ethernet standard. Therefore, it's entirely possible that a cable designed for high-speed Ethernet might not work for HD Base T. A recent Bixi report, which you can download from the resources section of this course page, even found that some cables which pass CAT6A or even CAT7A certification will induce HDMI signal errors through HD base T transmission at 100 meters. Meanwhile, other cables are fine. 
But how are you supposed to know which is which? We only need to look at this table to see how confusing HD Base T is. We've got different classes of HD Base T devices using different categories of cable to deliver different resolutions across different lengths. Furthermore, the system designers have to be aware of all this and they need to make the system integrators aware of it too. SDVOE makes your cable selection simple because it uses Ethernet standard. And because SDVOE uses Ethernet and not a proprietary data link layer, it can very easily be added to an existing Ethernet network in the future, should either the source or the display need to be incorporated into a larger distribution system. One more thing. SDVOE offers bi-directional devices capable of transmitting and receiving signals simultaneously with all the advantages we've already mentioned. So, in those cases where you need point-to-point -point connectivity in both directions, you don't need double the amount of devices. SDVOE isn't just the only choice for great big thousand plus endpoint configurations. It's the only real choice for every possible configuration. SDVOE suits your application, whether you're installing a video source to a display across 100 meters, or delivering a 5,000 endpoint system across an entire arena, while still providing the inbuilt functionality your clients demand with guaranteed scalability and interoperability. SDVOE really can succeed in every application you have. Surely, that's going to make your life so much easier instead of having to understand so many different variations.